ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಹಿ ಓಂ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ವಾಲ್ಮೀಕಿ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಬೈ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ವಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಗಂಗಾವತರಣ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದ ಫಲಶ್ರುತಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಂಗಾವತರಣ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ದಟ್ ಹೋಲಿ ರಿವರ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಔಂಟ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ನಾವು ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಋಷೀಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಎಕಂಪನಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ದ ಟು ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬೈ ಜನಕ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ಆಲ್ ದೀ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಸೋ ಗಂಗಾ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ಗಂಗಾ ಬಿಕಮ್ ತ್ರಿಪದಗ ತ್ರಿಪದಗ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಫ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಗ ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾತಾಳ ಲೋಕ ಸ್ವರ್ಗ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಲಿವ್ ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಲಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾತಾಳ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಂಗ ಜೀವಾಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾತಾಳ ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಲಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾತಾಳ ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೆಟ್ ವೈಡ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಂಗಾವತರಣ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ವಚ ಶ್ರುತ್ವ ರಾಘವ ಸಹ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ವಿಸ್ಮಯ ಪರಮಂ ಗತ್ವ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಮಥಾಬ್ರವೀತ್ ವಿಸ್ಮಯ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಸ್ಮಯ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆರ್ ಹೌ ಫೋರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಲಿವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಸಗರ ಡಿ ಟು ತಪಸ್ಯ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಶುಮಂತ ಹಿಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸನ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಶುಮಂತ ಸನ್ ದಿಲೀಪ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿಲೀಪ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಭಗೀರಥ ಹೂ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಭಗೀರಥ ಹೂ ಸಕ್ಸೀಡೆಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವೆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಚೀವ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಬಿ ಸಿ ರಿಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಭಗೀರಥ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ವಾಸ್ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವೇ ಲುಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ listening to such inspiring stories of his own family and being told by a person who is outside the family look at the psychological impact that the story is going to have and hence see in ramayana the word that would be used is a single word with a very small meaning but when you try to look at why that word was used the moment you try to question that if you question why rama got vismaya or why was he surprised then when you just put some thought behind it when you look at it as a 15 year old listening to his family story from a third person outside the family and they telling that you know your ancestors did so much for this world you would be like the energy or the inspiration that sri ramachandra would have got from this one story is huge right so that's what is being told here and here sri ramachandra is continuing he is saying atyadbhutam idam brahmam kajitam paramam tvaya gangavataranam punyam sagarasyaapi puranam he bhagavan you told me how ganga came here and how ganga actually filled the sagara the sea as well if you are getting a doubt as to how ganga filled the sagara ganga flew through the 60000 holes or the 60000 paths to patala which these 60000 brothers created and the water went there it stayed there and that became sagara is what sanatana dharma says okay so sri ramachandra is saying oh my my ancestors did such huge deeds sagarasya api puranam tasya sa sarvari sarva sahasaumitrina da jagama chintayansya viswamitra kadham subham okay and we, now sri ramachandra and lakshmana that night when they both were going to bed because they both were sleeping side by side they were constantly discussing this story i mean that's a very normal behavior right when you listen to such a big story when you see such a big thing you come home and you discuss now why did valmiki mention this in ramayana why are small things also
and in a first reading you might not notice it second reading you would notice otherwise third reading you would notice so keep looking for these treasure points in Sri Ramayana. okay and the next morning they woke up and tata prabhate vimale viswamitram mahamanim uvacha raghava vakyam krutnahnika marindamaha so the next morning Sri Ramachandra woke up did all the things that he needed to do in the morning he did his nityopasana he did his nitya karmas and then he went to Maharsha Vishwamitra and here he is saying, Hey Rishi, you told me something in Upakhyana. Upakhyana is a, um, is a story in a story. Akhyana is a story and more in Upakhyanas and Akhyanas are stories that have already happened. When I say story, it's not a fictional one. It's something that has happened. So yesterday I, lis I listened to a great Upakhyana and you know what? By discussing this with my brother, the whole night disappeared as if it was it disappeared in a second. Okay, and uh, Sri Ramachandra said this. Vishwamitra was again very very happy. And the next morning, they all crossed Ganga Ma River, and on the other side of the river, they saw a city, and the city was Vishala. The city's name was Vishala. Now, Sri Ramachandra he started his questions again. He said, hey Bhagavan, what is this city and who is the king who is ruling the city or what is the dynasty that's ruling the city, okay. And Vishwamitra, as ever, you saw right, from the moment they started from the Sharadha's place, Sri Ramachandra is asking multiple things and Vishwamitra is not at all bothered. He is just telling everything, every question, he is giving a huge, huge answers. He started, Oh Sri Ramachandra, I am going to tell you the story of Devendra. So please listen very carefully. Saying this, he started. Purvam Krutu Yuge Rama Jiteh Putra Mahavalaha Ajitesh Cha Mahabhaga Viriyamanta Sudharmikaha Tadastesham Narasreshta Buddhirasin Mahatmanam Amara Ajras Cheva Kadham Syama Niramayaha Tesham Chintayatam Rama Buddhirasin Mahatmanam Shiro the Madhanam Kurtva Rasam Prapsyama Tatravai. So in Krita Yuga is, is like see, we have a four yuga cycle, right? Krita Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Right? So Krita Yuga. Krita Yuga is four times of Kali Yuga, and Kali Yuga is like four lakh thirty two thousand years, and Krita Yuga is close to seventeen lakh. Years 17 lakh plus years is Krita Yuga. So in Krita Yuga, hey Ramachandra, in Krita Yuga, it's it's almost like 17 lakh plus years. In that Yuga, Diti Putra and Aditi Putra. So Kasyapa Prajapati was there, and Kasyapa Prajapati had had Diti and Aditi as his wives. He also had Venata and Kadruva, but Diti and Aditi, Diti's sons and Aditi's sons, they both lived in, in that era and both of them were very very strong and both of them were interested in dharma they were doing dharma and suddenly one day they, they thought that we should not become old we should not get a death we should not have any sort of ailments to our body and all of them started thinking about it and suddenly they realized we should do kshira sagara madhana what is kshira sagara madhana kshira sagara is the ocean of milk and when you do a churn in the ocean of milk, you would get Amruta is what they realized. And so they went to the Kshira Sagara, brought Mandhara Parvata. So when you want to churn something, if you want to, I mean, people I mean, who would have seen Krishna series and all would have seen, right? When they try to churn the curd, when they try to churn the curd, they use a pole-like thing in the middle so that, you know, they can churn it easily. In Telugu, we call it Kavam. I don't know what it's called in other languages but they use it to churn it this is a small pole like thing or a, a stick to be honest with a bigger base and as it goes on to the top the uh, it becomes thin and then you tie a rope on both the ends and you start pulling both the ropes so that this churns in the middle and from there you actually get butter and all so that's the uh, thing that's used Anyways, we'll get back to our story. So, in order to put a pole-like structure in Kshira Sagara, because it's an ocean, they brought in a, a huge mountain called Mantara Parvata and they put it there. And now, they, they needed a rope, right? From both the ends, they wanted to pull the rope 
and you know on one side you pull it the other side you release and then you pull it from the other side in this side you release so you pull and leave you pull and leave that's how you do it that's how you churn it so one easier thing or one closer thing if you want to understand what this is, is you see you you see people you know using beaters or something on milk and all and you know they make a churn around the milk and all right that can be a closer resemblance to this but then here you use a rope and all so for the rope they brought in vasuki uh, which is the king of all the nagas okay so they brought vasuki and they brought this and they started churning the ocean and for thousand years they used vasuki and they were churning the ocean and they were not getting anything and in the meantime vasuki because he was using his body like a rope right poison was coming out of his mouth and then these devas and dhanavas were still not leaving and they were still doing it once that was over after a thousand years suddenly a huge energy came out of that and that was poison and whoever was even breathing that poison they were dying so devas and dhanavas i means these sons are daityas which are who are rakshasas and aditi's sons are devas who we call all we also call them as adityas which are devas so all of them started running away and as they started running away the poison emanated out of that churn it started burning all the lokas and it was running after these people these people ran 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 and they ran to whom mahadeva who is mahadeva lord shiva about whom we just learned in in ganga avatarana we saw him right now sarji is not leaving us so he is back in this episode as well and now mahadeva and they said hey mahadeva you are the person who can save all of us so please take this hala 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 is the poison please take this poison now see i always feel like you know these devadas have a very tricky relationship with shiva first he wanted to have children these guys went and stopped it then bhagiratha wanted all the people on the earth also actually wanted ganga ma to come here then they used shiva and now again the, the whole world is burning now they ran back to shiva saying hey hey please save us from the poison and he is called bholenath for a reason okay he always accepts whatever these guys say he always accepts but this time before accepting shiva was like okay and uh, he was about to take a call that all of a sudden Sri Mahavishnu came over there with Shankha Chakra Gada Panim. He had Shankha Chakra Gada, everything in his hands, and he suddenly appeared there. And he he looked at Shiva. He smiled at him and said, "Hey Shiva, you are born before all the devatas. So these guys did something. Please have some mercy on them and consider this as the Agra Puja for you. Means the first thing that came out, we are giving to you. Please take." And immediately Sri Mahavishnu left there. Now Shiva thought, "Okay, it's poison." i'll take there is no problem but then i'll i'll just consult my wife once and he went inside because you know last time he did something without consulting all devas got shapam so i think he must have thought it in the mind this time he went and he asked uh, parvati uh, parvati uh, you know what uh, these guys it seems there is a poison that has come out so what do you say should i go and take it uh, i want to take it what is your opinion on this now imagine a wife whose husband comes to her and says i mean i'm not talking about these ultra modern folks today but then a normal person a normal wife her husband comes to her and says you know what all these guys have did something unknowingly they thought they are going to get amrit through which they, they live for eternity but unfortunately they got uh, poison they are asking me, me to take the poison should i take it how will how will that wife react there is a wonderful shloka i mean there is a wonderful padya in telugu this is not from ramayana but but because this is told even bhagavata this padyam is from bhagavata and the padyam goes like this mingedi vaadu vibhundari mingedi garalamani mingamane sarva mangala mangala sutram munenta madinam minado this means she knew that the person who is going to take it is her husband what is he going to take garala which is poison okay and she asked him to take and he said just go ahead and take it minga mane sarva mangala sarva mangala devi is the devi who gives good things to all people mangala is good sarva mangala is the person who gives all goodnesses to the world 
Mangala Sutra Munanta Madinam Minado. So all the married women wear Mangala Sutra, right? And and when they are wearing that Mangala Sutra, the mantra that is recited uh, by the Purohita, when the husband is tying that to her is Mangalyam Tantunanena, Mama Jeevan Hetuna, Kante Padrani Subhage, Tandiu Saradam Satam, that's the mantra that is told. So what is the meaning of this mantra? So the man, when he is tying that Mangala Sutra to the girl, he is saying, as long as this is there in your neck, till that time I am there. So he is putting his life uh, on she wearing the Mangala Sutra. So that's the importance of Mangala Sutra. And, and you go one generation or you know, if you, even if you go to our, till our mother's generation, women won't even let their Mangala Sutra to be touched by anyone. We are, we are slowly losing all those customs where people are removing it and keeping it everywhere. But that's extremely not correct uh, because she should be having it throughout because his life depends on she wearing it. That's that's how it is told. That's what the mantra says. Now coming back, Mingedi Vadu Vibhundani Mingedi Di Garala Maniyu Mingamani Sarva Mangala Mangala Sutra Munenda Madinam Minado. So that's a very good padya, very very sweet on our ears, right? And the meaning we have just discussed. So she said, just go ahead and take it. Now Shiva, that's that's the love. That's why Shiva and Parati are called as Adi Dampaka. Why are they Adi Dampata? They consider this entire universe as their children and they always do good for their children. That's why Jagata Pitarav Vande Parvati Parameshwaro in Kalidas also he says, when he is prostrating to God, he says, Jagata Pitarav Vande, the, I am saluting to the parents of the universe. Means everything in the universe came from them, Parvati Parameshwaro. Okay, so he is, uh, that's why we bow to them. Now Shiva came out. Till now, this Hala Hala was scaring everyone. And everybody was running looking at it. Now when Shiva started walking towards it, that got scared. And that started running away. You know, when a toddler is trying to running away from you, two-year-old, three-year-old is running, is running away, trying to run away from you, what do you do? You take five, ten big steps. You stop them, catch them by their hand and make them stop, right? Shiva also did the same thing. He took some big steps and he stopped the hala hala and he took it into his hand, put it almost like you know a kismis fruit and took it into his mouth and then he realized if he takes it upwards from his neck, the urdhalokas will be gone. If he takes it down from the neck, adholokas will be gone. Then he said, okay, I'll keep it in the neck so that the entire world will be in balance. And till then, see. When you look at uh, Shiva Stotras, right, you, you must all have heard this wonderful sloka. Karpura Gauram Karunavataram. You have heard this? Karpura Gauram Karunavataram Samsara Saram Bhujagendra Haram Sadaramantam Hradiyaravinde Bhavam Bhavanim Saitam Namami. Here Shiva is called as Gaura, Gauravarna. Means he is like Karpura. It's like camphor. He is as white as camphor. Now that he took this Hala Hala, you know, poison is normally blue. It, it, it makes our body blue. When, we, when it comes comes into our body. So, it went to his neck and since he did not let it come down or he did not let it go up, it stayed in his neck. So, the neck became blue in color. That's where we call Shiva is Neela Kantha or Garala Kantha because Garala is there in his Kantha, Kantha is, our, is his neck. So, we call him Garala Kantha or Neela Kantha. So, when the next time you, you read, you listen to Karpura Gaura Sloka, and then you listen that he is Neelakantha, you, you should be thankful or we all should be thankful to him because it was he who took the poison and kept it there so that the world is not destroyed by its power. Okay, that's the story. Bholenath ki jaye. From there we come back. Once Shiva took it, again these devatas, they said, okay, okay, first time it came, next time we will get something better. And they started churning the ocean once again. And as they started churning the ocean this time, all of a sudden, the thing that they kept to churn, the Mandhara Parvata, it, it started falling on one side. Okay. Then they again now went to Vishnu and said, Hey Vishnu, this is not stable. Can you do something about it? Then Sri Mahavishnu took the Kurma Avatara and he said, put it on my back. So they kept the goal of churning on Mahavishnu's back and they started churning once again. Okay. And this time again when they did the churning for 1000 years, first 60,000 women came out. And since these women came out of rasa, 
See, for water, we call it as Jaladatva or Rasa. Since they came out of that, they were called as Apsarasas. 60 crore people, sorry. 60 crore Apsarasas. I thought I told 60,000. I am sorry. It is 60 crore people who came out and these 60 crores are called as Apsarasas. And look at the dharma of both Devas and Daityas at that point of time in Krita Yuga. They said, okay, we will not touch these women. And so, they became Natasma Parigrhunanti Sarvete Devadanavaha Apparati Grahanastascha Sarva Sadharana Smrutaha. So, they were made as Sadharana Striyaha. And sometimes they are also put, some people use the name as Deva Vesya there. Now, Vesya there does not mean a woman in a prostitute wala meaning. No, they are Nartakis. They are there as Nartakis in Devaloka. So, how many of them are there? 60 crores of them are there. And again, now, some people might think, okay, if I do all good things and go, go to Swargaloka, I might, I might enjoy their dancing and all. But again, in Sanatana Dharma, your aim is not to go to Swarga because once you go to Swarga, Kshine Punye Matya Lokam Bisimti. So, for some time, your, all your Punya might keep you in Swargaloka, but the moment the Punya is over, again, you will have to fall where? To Matya Loka. So, why do you want to go there? and fall. Go there and fall. It's like going to a, a resort or a five-star hotel, enjoying till your money permits and coming back. But then you'll have to gain all the money to go back there, right? Instead of planning to go to Swarga and all, one needs to work for Moksha because that would ensure that you are not born again and you would become one with Paramatma, okay? That's the whole thing about Swarga. So don't, as people of Sanatana Dharma, we really need not be too much worried to go to Swarga Loka. Going there is a good thing, but there is a higher plane to go also, okay. After that, they continue doing the same work, a churning and then Varuna's daughter, Varuni, she came out, okay. Now, Varuni, some people again equate this with liquor. No, Varuni is not liquor. Varuni is Sura. Sura is something that you take it, once you take Sura, once you do Surapana, it, acts, it is not something like, like a liquor or something that you are drinking, but it is a thing. It is uh, Varuni is considered to give you happiness. So, it is not Surapana, it is not a cheap liquor. It is something that keeps you happy uh, and it is Prahrushtatva. It is, they say that it gives you Prahrushtatva. It lets your mind think more freely. Okay. Now, again, please don't equate this with liquor. Lot of people have made Surapana equivalent to liquor and there are many songs in Indian movies where people go to Swarga and they keep drinking wine and all. No, that's Sura, not wine because Surapana is considered, is, is spoken in as in the Panchamahapatakas. So, what are the Panchamahapatakas? Prambhagyacha, Surapecha, Chore, Bhagnavratecha. So, in Panchamahapatakas, Stealing gold is a pataka, so Brahma Hatya, killing a Brahmin is one. Uh, stealing gold is a second. Third is drinking, not Sura, okay, is drinking liquor. And fourth is, no, it's very tough to say, but if you have a guru, I mean not you, I don't want to put it on anyone. Imagine there is a person, he has a guru and the guru has a wife and this person, you know, had an affair with the guru's wife or he had a physical relationship with that guru's wife, that's considered another pataka. And what is the fifth one? Making friendship with these four fellows. So, if you are having friendship with a, with, a, with a person who drinks, if you have friendship with a person who kills a Brahmin, if you have friendship with someone who did something bad with his, with, with his guru's wife, and if you, are, if you are friends with someone who steals gold, you are also a, one of the guys who is e equivalent of doing this. Okay? So, now, Devatas took this Sura, again, I am telling you this is not liquor, okay, and then they, they became happy, Rakshasas rejected Sura, they did not take Sura, okay. After this, Uchai Srava Hayasreshto Maniratnancha Kaustuham Udhishtar Narasreshta Tadhaivam Vratamuttamam. So, then a great horse called Uchai Srava came and who took that? Devatas wanted to take it. Sri Mahavishnu said, don't take it. Why did he say, don't take it? Because Devendra thought he should take it. But he was told not to take it because Ashwa, it runs very fast, right? Most of us, 
have a problem where our senses run after things and sometimes senses run so fast some people just give in to their senses right for some people no it is not that easy right somebody's senses running very fast after some things are indicated by horses that's why they say don't have photos of horses in your house if you look at the older generations people they never had photos of only horses i mean they just you know four or five horses running in different directions no they don't have it okay don't think that these senses will pull you down only in, into bad things sometimes you might be uh, you might thought that you know from tomorrow morning i'll put a tilak and go to school or college if you are a student or I'll, i'll put a tilak and go to office i mean or i'll wear a tilak wherever i am that's probably a better way to say it now if you are taking you no know, in the morning you wake up you put your tilak you do your anusthana and when you are going to school if you are putting it twice so that everybody in the school thinks that you know you are a very pious guy or everybody in the office thinks that you are a pious guy no you are putting tilak to honor your religion in sanatana dharma or you are putting tilak to accept that there is a punarjanma okay for that you have to put tilak but not to show it off to people so uchchai shreva is is in one way it means you know uh, having that sort of attitude where you want everybody to recognize you okay that's uchchai shreva so sri mahavishnu told devatas to not take it devata said we will not take it but rakshasa said no 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 we want it and from there you know in hindi they say dikhava right that got into them and their fall started and after this airavata came devendra got airavata there was a wonderful money called kaustubha that came and that was taken by sri mahavishnu after that ma lakshmi came and sri mahavishnu took her as wife and again amrutam also came the amrut that also came and devadas and danava started fighting for it sri mahavishnu took the form of mohini and he gave it to the deserving people and he did not give it to the undeserving people and from this episode rahu and ketu also got created all this happened and then war started there were a number of wars devatas and danavas started having fights and even after the distribution of amrita they had a fight and devatas emerged victorious so this is where we'll stop this episode today and in our next episode we'll see how diti actually reacted to her sons losing this whole thing and what she wanted and how tiramachandra is going to learn a great lesson from vishwamitra when he is narrating this story okay so with that we stop this episode sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pasyantu ma kaschit dukkha bhag bhavet om tat sat sarvam sukhisaj bhasmam charanarvindar parmastu swasti jai shri ram